Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction video. As you can tell by the title, it's a, a big one at that. Uh, it's a perfect time to reminisce and obviously since the anniversary of the two year anniversary of this video being posted is coming up, I might as well react to it and reminisce because it is probably one of the best videos that Jack has done. The Say Goodbye video, which was re re released back in Halloween of 2016. Now, I w back then, I wasn't really uh, really watching Jack at the time, but I kind of remember at the time when I was editing, used to edit on Vine, I saw a lot of people talk about this. Like, they were posting edits about Jack's darker persona, because all I know was Darkiplier at the time, when Darkiplier wasn't really fleshed out before Dave Markiplier. And I barely knew about this opposite of Jack, like the darker, darker version of Jack. Like, I didn't know at the time of who he was, of what it looked like. But then I kind of saw a snippet of him saying, But you just watched, and this happened. And I'm like, oh boy. That is more psychotic. <laughs> more like the Joker. And, uh, if, I don't know if you noticed, but, uh, I kind of have a little something on. The, these are magnetic. They're not legitimate ones. I will never, I swear I'm never getting a piercing in my life. Fuck them. I honestly don't want to get a piercing. <laughs> it doesn't interest me. If you get one, that's fine. Good for you. But I'm not interested in them. So, this pumpkin carving video... Shit. I don't know, man. If It's always inspired me to do a pumpkin carving video of my own. I wanted to do one last year, but never really got a chance to. But honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do one this year as well. Because, again, a lot of busy stuff, stuff has happened. A lot of busy things I've been doing. And a lot of planning. For, just planning out. Want to get videos done. And stuff. So I don't think I've, I'm going to have time to do a pumpkin carving video this year again, unfortunately. But there's always next year. So uh, enough of me rambling. Let's get right into this. So without further ado, let's react to this video, shall we? and I think it's a cool tradition to just do a carbon pumpkin video every year. So, welcome back! Happy birthday! Happy Halloween birthday! To the <laughs> Happy Halloween Happy birthday, that makes right. sense. Last year I used a really, really tiny one to get my desired look, and I have no idea what I'm going to carve into this yet. I'm going to try and think about something good. It'll probably just be a simplistic design again. Um, but this time I'm doing it in my room. Last year I did it downstairs. Um, because there was a table down there, so I just dragged this table up here to do it this time because it sounded awful down there last year. But I'm excited! I like these! I like seasonal videos! <laughs> um, okay, I need a marker because I forgot that I need to draw a face <laughs> on this little duder. Um, oh! Happy Halloween, by the way! Did I say that at the start? Yes. Probably. Okay. Yes, you did. I need to draw a different type of design because I always go for the stereotypical, like, Nashy teeth kind of thing. And the this triangle really eyes. I need, I need to I need to get something to wipe this off. Yeah, I'm so unprepared! Okay, Mr. Spoon, you're gonna have to go on the ground. You're making <laughs> Okay, this uh, I'm gonna have to put your eyes higher. I want big eyes on this guy. I probably shouldn't even need to draw them, actually, because I could just do it. Oh god. The wetness. This is a whiteboard marker. What have, what have I done to myself? Okay, there's his eyes. He's very pretty, right? Tell him he's pretty. <laughs> um, okay, what kind of teeth are you going to have? This is where the artist in you comes out. I mean, I'm hoping that you got better at carving pumpkins since last year. Because last year was when I was teaching you how to carve a pumpkin. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully you've actually learned a thing or two since then. I know I haven't. <laughs> so this is, this is where you can let your, your Picasso, your Rembrandt come out. Okay. I think that'll be a good one if we, if we do this, right? Uh... Yeah! I think that'll be cool! Um, oh god. Also, you need, you need a bag! 
put all your shit into. No, don't throw yourself in there. I know you're no. a piece of shit, but you're not. You're beautiful. So, okay. Got two uh, knives. Got two knives here. I, I'm a biggie and small. Me. That's not a knife. This is a knife. So, I'm... <laughs> I'm starting to get dangerous. <laughs> right, so what? You're going to... Yep, there's the first sign. First sign of there's something wrong. Weird. A turtle. That's what it was. What you're going to want to do is to cut into the little. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to give you a name. Um, Gerald. I'm sorry, Gerald, but I'm gonna have Gerald. to cut into your head. I'm sorry, I've never Gerald. Used a pumpkin of this size before either. So, oh god. Oh, the what the fucking camels oh, on the side of the table? This is, going to be, this is very dangerous. Do not use sharp objects at home like this if you're not qualified Oh, God. Yeah. It terrifies me guys. when holding, like, a giant fucking <laughs> but knife. Just be very careful when you're doing this shit, because this can go very wrong very easily. Hey, as I get up to leverage myself, it's getting very hard to be able to dig into this dude while I'm sitting down, so... God, why didn't I go for the smaller pumpkins again? I'm not able to handle a pumpkin of this stature. You're a big one, Gerald, but God, by... Thank like Jesus, I love Slap your pumpkins. Smack I told you before, slapping your pumpkins is always a good idea. Get, gets them motivated. Gets them ready to be chopped up into bits. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a bit of wiggle in them. Oh, yeah. You see that pop? You're going to want a nice pop to come out of your pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Shit. And then we see... The, the brains. brains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's so gross. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> I mean, of course it fucking stinks. It's an open pumpkin in your room. Shut up, that's why! Gives me ideas for next year. I hope you don't mind. Are you, are you cool with that? Blink once for yes, twice for yes. You didn't blink at all, does that mean no? Shit. <laughs> His eyes are not even formed yet. <laughs> the smell of this is making me feel well. No. Oh my god. The nosebleed. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Ir ironically, this year he had a nosebleed on an airplane. That is creepy. Okay, just got a random nosebleed in the middle of that. Kind of cliche, it. too. It seems to have stopped now, though. Jesus! What a fucking coincidental time for that to happen on Halloween, of all things. <laughs> okay, where's my spoon that I threw in the ground? Now, you have to scoop out all of your pumpkin. There's a lot scoop of shit. Scoop all the seeds like and all that pumpkin. shit out. Look like a real boy. So you You're a real boy! and scrape until your hands are raw and sore and there's nothing but seeds and pulp on the inside of it. It's the part I hate about carving pumpkins. Everything else is fine. Carving out the face and everything is all fun and bones. Fun and games, but no, this part sucks. There's so much cleaning. I hate cleaning. Can you hear that? Oh, I don't know if that's actually picking up on the, on the mic, but that sounds nasty. It looks even nastier. Uh. Dude, that is creepy, though. The shadow in the on the left. How do I do this? I have to empty this out. Oh god! I did not think any of this through. You just thought, oh, I'll pump, I'll cover pumpkin, but not think of anything in between. Does that look good? Looks like a fucking my own pumpkin. No. Okay, I think we got some of you. Did we? Oh yeah. Oh, that's a heavy bag. That's like when you have a shitty nappy from a baby. You know it's full. <laughs> clean up, clean up all the pieces of Gerald's brain. Clean up, clean up everybody. Carry Go up the pumpkin. Mmm, pumpkin juice. Pumpkin brains, pumpkin guts. I should save all this and make some soup up. I'll probably Why name my to... pumpkin Jim. Would you like to be part of me? You and me, together, forever, as one. You'd be in my belly, digesting. I mean, we'd only be together for a couple hours, and then I you out. Would you like that? Would you like that? <laughs> My arm is getting tired. There! Workout. Pumpkin is, oh, pumpkin's all cleaned out. There we go. Well, it can do it a little bit more freshening up, but mmm, smell that. It's fucking gross. <laughs> so now that he's all cleaned out, we have to cut out your eyeball holes. So I'm going to use the smaller knife for this because it's more intricate. Okay, I'm going to cut you. Be careful. This is scary. Be scared now, Gerald. 
What did I tell you before? It's just like getting a hacksaw to your face! Oh, God. Sorry, I didn't mean to go overboard like that, but you know how I get around sharp objects. Ah! The <laughs> candles? The over the candles. You dummy. <laughs> so Why'd you put the candles there, you dummy? It's hard to turn the knife. Yeah. I'm a bitch. It's okay. It's working. Yeah, no. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> I'm going to shave the ends of you off. Oh, very nice. Not too much, though. If I shave too much off, then it's not going to fit back in the hole. Are you going to fit back in? Oh! You don't need it to fit back in the hole. Why would you need it? I'm cleaning this for no fucking reason. Now my table's all messy. Dummy. God damn it! <laughs> you, you just leave this one empty. Oh. If I use my brain, see? I have about as much brains as Gerald does right now. Stop resisting, Gerald! It's time to die! <laughs> it's time to die! Pete the pumpkin. But no, like Gerald. Jair dies line. <laughs> Wham. Two eyes out! Uh. Somebody there? I swear to God, I'm hearing something. That is fucking freaking me out. Oh, <laughs> shit. Maybe it's just the neighbors I'm hearing. Randomly, they start making noises. Stomping or banging, Christ. They randomly start banging because they know you're loud as fuck and they're, you're trying to do a Halloween video. Just clean out behind the eyes as well. Because you don't want any danglers. You don't want him to look stupid. I mean, if you want him to make him look like he's rotten and decayed, there's easier ways of doing that. Just leave him out on the porch. For like three days. <laughs> Before the squirrels get him. <laughs> right. There's his eyes. Now comes the mouth. The mouth is going to be hard, but I'm going to make him look like he's got a hoo. Like he's a hoo. Not sharp, jagged teeth. A hoo. Like hoo. Kind of scary. That's probably the hardest like part for you. That's got to be the hardest part to do is the teeth. I'm a different person. Ugh. Gerald. You should go see your dentist. The teeth are coming out nicely. Well, at least I think they are. I haven't been able to follow the lines properly. It looked like Jack was wearing a white, a white glove on his hand, but that's because of the lighting. That's what it looks like. Um, okay, almost there. Uh, almost there. Look, Last one. I just saw someone like walk, a shadow walk right there. Did it work? Is is your mouth gonna come out? Come on. Yeah. Yeah, booty. Oh, cool! Yes! <laughs> it worked! That laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to off all the, the marker off. Because when you can see the outline and then you see where I didn't follow, it looks stupid! You gotta just see the pumpkin for what it is. Ta ta! Hey, you're dead. You pretty well! Does, does your head still fit on? I hope so. Yay! He's a fully formed pumpkin! Okay, so the last thing. You want to do is get your knife, and you're going to have to do fine. Oh no! Dude, I just noticed him when he's holding the knife up. He's shaking it, like his hands shaking. I did not notice that the whole time. That's how the video ends. <laughs> Just this for like another 45 seconds or so. 
Holy shit. Oh man. That video still gives me chills. Especially with the build up. Build up the build up leading up to it. You start seeing glitches start to occur in the beginning and it just starts to add, like become more and more um bad like a lot more you see you see more and more glitches occur throughout the video like it just increases and oh my god like again so sort of like certain moments like you see the shadow on the on the left side of him where the that whiteboard is you see the shadow you see another moment where you see Auntie on the right side of the screen reaching out to Jack. You see moments of like a like a half transparent Auntie in the chair after Jack left to fix up his clean up his nose from a nosebleed that he randomly had. Like those certain moments, like certain glitches that occur, those details. Like hidden details, it's just amazing. Robin, no, really, really nailed it when it comes to this. Delivered on every level when it comes to that video, and that's why I consider this one of the best videos on Jack's channel. Uh, also, the Kill Jack Up the Guy Biolink Redemption video, I think, is also a good one. Really good one. You gotta, you gotta always go with the one that started, like the one that started it all. This one is just fucking amazing. Like the build up to it was just amazing as well, especially in Kill Jack, except the BioLink Redemption. That was just more awesome too. I love that more, but it's so hard to not love this one too because of the build up leading up to it. Like certain moments, like the one part I love. A lot, and I even joke that it's Jay or Die's line, is when he's like, "Stop resisting, Gerald! It's time to die!" And you, when he he says "die," his voice distorts. That's the one thing I love a lot. It just shows you like the moment of like he just he gets like it. Auntie just bleeds out for a second say die like it's just fucking amazing shit and then the ending with the throat the uh the, the throat slashing what was jack going to do next that was the one thing i always wondered he pretty much got it done he pretty much did the pumpkin done he finished it and then the last thing you're going to do is take your knife and you're going to have to do a fine The one detail I noticed watching it on the TV is when he's lifting up the knife, his hand's like shaking a tiny bit. Like, like if it, there's like regret or something, I don't know, like some detail, maybe I'm looking a little too deep into it. But again, especially the fact that he's pretty much using like, using it like spreading butter on Bread. He's not necessarily cutting it. He just has the knife kind of up and not like straight, like how you would cut. He just had the knife kind of like, uh, especially because yeah, you don't want to fucking literally cut yourself for safety. But so pretty much, he probably ha took blood and just spread it across his neck slowly. And Aunt and Robin did his magic, and it came out wonderful. And then the the jump scare, ha -ha! that laugh, and then him coming back saying, "You, his body was weak. You all said my name. I am here now. You, you'll listen to me. You all made this happen. <laughs> you could have stopped me."
But you just watched as this happened. <laughs> now he's gone forever. Say goodbye. Now my throat is fucking on fire. Holy shit. Doing that voice is just... God, I can't imagine how... But then again, Jack yells all the time, so I'm pretty sure his throat is so used to this shit at this point. <laughs> He's got a strong uh, voice box. <laughs> uh, so... Again, a lot of people have said that I do a good uh, impersonation of Antisepticeye. Maybe a little, but I I just don't see it that much. Like, my probably my favorite... <laughs> I'm surprised that... What, like, I don't know why this was not in the actual Darker Fly vs. Antisepticeye video, but for some reason, I just want to see this moment with the effects on and the background behind that when he goes he's got four nipples and i'm like the fuck who's that is that shark yoho is that logan paul Lucian? like matarats is it um grizzly voices <laughs> is it chica like who was that supposed to represent who is that supposed to be? Talk. Who are they? Who are they talking about? Blazing Phil, Dan, Phil. Who is that supposed to be? I don't know. When I say like he's got four nipples, people will say, "Oh, that's a good anti voice." But it's just it depends on certain lines I say. I think. Especially with Wilford as well. People say I do a good Wilford Warp Stash. Wow! His body was weak. That's my wine! Well, sorry. You glut fucking turtle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's that hard to do a Wilford voice. All you gotta do is just move your jaw like this and just kind of have put in a little bit of a southern accent. And maybe you'll do fine. Maybe you'll do fine. Maybe you'll do fine. I don't know. I digress. But, <clears throat> yeah, my throat is fucking killing me now after doing the anti voice. Holy shit. That's why I don't do the anti voice that much, because it kills my throat afterwards. So, uh, the reason why I also decided to re react to this is because I'm also dressing up as Antiseptic Guy for Halloween this year. I know I might have said earlier this year that I was going to dress up as Wilfred Warpstash for Halloween this year, but I don't know why. I don't want to go through the fucking pain in the ass bullshit of p removing spirit gum. It is the fucking most annoying fucking thing ever. Especially when you have a full grown mustache on it and it's still there after remo putting so much remover on. It's still there. You have to literally use soap, a rag. It, I've literally spent an hour in the shower after filming that video. That rhymes. An hour in the shower. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, I think that's officially on today's reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed... This will be reminiscing of the classic video that's kicked off Antiseptigai. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this, video with your, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. 
Be sure to also check out my Instagram because I make cool ads of Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even myself. I also do reenactments and cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to also check out my Tumblr is in the description as well. So until next time, JRD096 signing out, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.